President Donald Trump. Whether you like the sound of it or not, we've uh, got him for the next four years as President of the United States. Before we look forward to the first 100 days in office, we look back at how we got to this point today. Yes, from debate debacles to political one-liners, big balloons for Bill Clinton. Here are the best moments from one unforgettable election season. Is there anyone on stage, and can I see hands, who is unwilling tonight to pledge your support to the eventual nominee of the Republican Party? <laughs> Mr. Trump. Have you seen his hands? They're like this. And you know what they say about men with small hands? You can't trust them. You can't trust them. This little guy has lied so much go. about my record. There we go. The person he has lied. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. On the stage. I was a this... businessman. I got along with Clinton. I got along with everybody. Yeah. That was my job to get along with people. But the simple I didn't wanna... fact is. Excuse me. One second. No. I the didn't want to get. Donald, oh, you good. cannot take. More energy tonight. I like no. that. We have $19 trillion in debt. We have people out of work. We have ISIS and Al-Qaeda attacking us. And we're talking about fantasy football. Can we stop? I never attacked him on his look. And believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. That I they can't handle a bunch of CNBC moderators. If you can't handle those guys, you know, then I don't think the Chinese and the Russians are going to be too worried about you. What would you do if you were elected about Aleppo? And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. I'm watching the debate, and she disappeared. Where did she go? Where did she go? I know where she went. It's disgusting. I don't want to talk about it. Americans, Americans, the people that we love, Americans, America first. I think it's her snips. Woo, OK. Um. Do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Well, okay? Chris, let me respond to that because that's horrifying. We have some bad hombres here and we're going to get them out. They have a puppet as president of no the United puppet, States. No puppet. And it's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's Such a nasty trust one. Trust Mr. Trump's face. He's unfit. They're not that rich. Wrong. Not that charitable. Wrong. Or he's never paid taxes in his life. Warmer. <laughs> you know? It almost seems seizure-esque to me. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers? Mr. Trump. It is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. America will no longer settle for anything less than the best. We must reclaim our country's destiny and dream big and bold and daring. We have to do that. We're going to dream of things for our country and beautiful things and successful things once again. And hopefully, wow. young Baron Trump got to sleep in this morning. <laughs> they kept him up till after 3 in the morning. It was hard not time. to keep watching him. I, he was a little distracted. He was a little wobbly. Uh, I think he was so tired. Poor kid, so tired. What an election. I think we're all glad it's over. Yes, and Hillary Clinton is set to speak at 7.30. We will have that live on Facebook, so just search for Kagan 9.